All right? So I'm going to use the whiteboard just to get a few concepts out. And I'll try to make it as simple as my mind can be. But professor, feel free to clarify if I get too complicated. Is that cool? All right. So there's two things I want you guys to think about with me, or two different uh, people, OK? What type of people? There is GP instructor, OK? All of you guys here at a certain point are teaching Jiu-Jitsu. Even if you're a program director, in my opinion, you're also an instructor, OK? Because you are helping those people learn, so that puts you within this, this category, all right? And then you have, on the opposite side of the mats, all right, let's try, try to think of those that way, you have the GP students. Okay? Now, here is the biggest mistake all beginners to, uh, instructors make, and those that don't evolve towards becoming great instructors to stick <laughs> with that assumption for the rest of their lives. They assume that to teach and to learn, it happens like that. If I teach, you're going to learn. While I'm speaking with you guys, actually before we prepared this meeting, we were discussing what's the best approach for the content we want to deliver, the knowledge we want you guys to learn, that we're teaching today, you guys actually get it. We put so many hours into it, right? So what I'm trying to say is, if you assume that every time you teach something, somebody learns something, that's the assumption that's going to kill you as an instructor. And if your entire staff in your school is assuming that, at the moment you teach your students to learn, that's, what, that's the biggest problem that's uh, holding your school for hitting the, uh, to hit the type of growth that you're looking for. So what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that between the act of teaching and that is done by the GP instructor or the program directors or any other staff at the school and the act of learning, there is a gap. And if you don't work on a daily basis to cover that gap, you're never going to be where you should be within this organization. Impossible. And to cover that gap that happens to any type of teaching, uh, instructor student teaching learning relationship, is when you need to work on teaching methods. It's for you to be able to squeeze this down and as much as possible guarantee that what you're teaching, the content that you are delivering, is actually being learned from your students. The same challenge you guys are going to have at 5, 6, 7 o'clock tonight when you guys step in front of your classes to teach, it's the same challenge I'm having here. My mind is spinning around like, how can I make these guys actually learn the valuable information that I have for them? I'm not assuming that you guys are going to get it. 